Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is gonna be all about trying to figure out if your Pokemon Red version is authentic or fake. I have different versions of Pokemon Red in my collection so we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the fake versions that I bought from China so let's check it out. <laughs> And here we go guys, we have Pokemon Red version, fake versus real episode. This time we have two fakes and two originals. If you could tell me what's the originals, let me know on the comment section. But it's these two. We have the two versions that are only accepted and only known authentic versions of Pokemon Red. So we have the white E. Let's see if I can focus that and the black key okay so let's go through this one first because this one you could definitely tell it's fake it's never released this way it's only been released on a red cartridge and if you have a gray cartridge with pokemon red that's usually japanese version which we're gonna go through for pokemon green but for now okay it looks like these for japanese versions so red never came with a great thing on english version okay so if you see this definitely run away unless it's like two dollars and you just want to play it um then this is probably a nice choice but this is an older version this particular one is a higher end version of pokemon red as you could see in here the actual cartridge is red and the picture looks pretty similar but it's more like an outwards uh, picture so you can see like it shows uh, Charizard's feet but on the authentic ones it never showed that okay so just the picture itself you got green wings in there Charizard on the cartridge never had the green wings and it has a black E and black E is supposed to have this DMG-APAE-USA-1 and this one doesn't have it. If it's just this particular code, it should have a white E on, okay? Those are the details that we can find so far. Um, What else can we find in here? While well, we're at it. The Pokemon has DM on with an asterisk. This one has an R. So that's another one. We gotta catch them all, it's not on the actual cartridge. And the seal of quality of Nintendo was not present on the cartridge itself. It only has the Nintendo logo, okay? I believe this might be a scan for the from the box. From one of the boxes they have, okay? Anyway, so those are the differences on the sticker itself. If you see this run away, it costs around $250 to $5, that's including shipping. That's what it costs for me to get it. It does function pretty well, uh, much like the uh, actual game. And I believe you could trade around, but there has been reports of like glitching the authentic game when you trade with, uh, with a fake one. So I wouldn't risk it, especially if you've lagged in a lot of hours on your authentic ones. Okay. Um, the color of the cartridge itself is not quite the red, uh, the is on the authentic one but it's gonna be hard to tell if you're just shopping from from it by, by itself you know okay the back side is very similar to pokemon blue if you watch my pokemon blue video it has that circle in the middle if you're looking for an authentic one and fake ones has a tri wing not the flower um screw in there okay so let's open it up. Again, we're gonna put this aside. There's only two versions of Pokemon Fire Red. If you wanna check out the box and the other versions of these uh, Pokemon Red version, I've seen, I've made a video of different variants of Pokemon Red, so you can check that out on my channel. Okay, let's open this one up. So we can tell 100% that yours is authentic. It's only if you like open it up. So let's open it up. So an authentic one looks like that. 
this fake one, this particular fake one looks like. Oh. Need a triangle. I believe they're using a Game Boy Advance uh, format for the newer version. Okay. There you go. That's the Game Boy Advance uh, size in there. Fake and original is supposed to have four chips in here and uh, battery. It also has to say Nintendo at the back. 1998 Nintendo with four uh, rectangles in there, much like a uh, Pokemon Emerald, um, Sapphire and Ruby, and you even have this TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4 on the back, okay? And that's how you can tell that your copy is 100% legit, is if it looks like that inside too, okay? The other thing that uh, usually the fakes miss is this manufacturing code there. It's usually two digits and a letter or just two digits. Okay. The fake ones usually don't have that. Can't find that anywhere on the sticker. And that's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful. And if I miss any key details about these Pokemon games, definitely let me know in the comments section. And if you're looking for other Pokemon games that might be fake, uh, especially if you're buying one or you already had one and you have some doubts, Definitely check out my channel and I have a dedicated playlist just for figuring out the differences between an authentic one and a fake one. So other than that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and have a good day.